this is Vasui from at home. So in this video let's learn about the sum of the terms in an AP. So first thing I have taken is sum of first n terms of natural numbers. So we know what a natural number is right. So it is 1, 2, 3 likewise. We are going to take first 100 terms right. So the last number the 100th term would be 100. Let's see how to find the sum of this. So to find the sum, let me take S as my sum, okay? My sum would be like 1 plus, I, I, I need to add these, right? So it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, likewise it goes till it is plus 98 plus 99 and 100 so i need to add so this is little tedious to do so i just take a easy way to make it easy i'm going to take another set of uh, numbers so i take that also as sum the sum of one more uh, series like from 1 to 100 but this time i'm going to write it in reverse so that would be 100 plus 99 plus 98 right so it goes like this and it goes like this till 3 plus 2 plus 1. Now let me add these two series. I'm just adding these two series. So what happens is here S plus S adding these two. S plus S becomes 2S right. So you get 2S is equal to here this 1 plus 100 will give you 101 plus 2 plus 99 is again 101 then 3 plus 98 is again 101 likewise I keep getting 101 okay till the end so here see 98 plus 3 is 101 these are the last three terms I have written 99 plus 2 is again 101 and here it is 101. So I would get 101 100 times because we have taken 100 terms, right? So this would be 100 times. So instead of adding 101 100 times, I can just say 2s is equal to 101 times 100, right? Adding 101 100 times is equal to multiplying the 100 and 101. So this is 2s. So what is your sum? Your sum will be 101 times 100 over 2. And that would give you 5050. So adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus likewise till 100 is difficult. So I just found the easy way of doing it and so I got this answer. So using this as basis, we can generalize finding the sum of n terms of a natural number. Okay. So the next one is finding the n terms of natural number again. So this is going to be like 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 likewise till here this would be n minus 2, right? Plus n minus 1 plus n. These are the last three terms. So this is n minus 2, n minus 1 and n. Okay. Now I write this in reverse order. Again another series I take. So that would be n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2. Likewise it goes and the last three terms would be 3 plus 2 plus 1, right? So now add these. So I get 2s is equal to 1 plus n is, I just take it as n plus 1, okay? Plus, I'm adding the second terms of both these series. So that is n plus 2 plus n minus 1 so that will be again okay i'll just write as it is so n minus 1 plus 2 right okay that will be the second term and the third term will be 
3 plus n minus 1. Likewise, it keeps going and finally the last three terms would be this and this, right? So that would be n minus 2 plus 3 plus n minus 1 plus 2 plus n plus 1, right? So let me put that neat. So that would be 2s is equal to n plus 1 plus here again this becomes plus my plus 2 and minus 1 is plus 1 right so that would be n plus 1 again here again this 3 and minus 1 will make it sorry 3 and here it is 2 because see these two right so 3 and 2 will make it 1 right so that is again n plus 1 likewise your n plus 1 is repeated till the last okay here also you have n plus 1 plus n plus 1 plus n plus 1 so this n plus 1 is repeated n number of times so we don't know how many terms are there so i just take it as n terms so this n plus 1 is repeated n number of times n times okay so adding it n times is equal to multiplying the n and n plus 1. So you get 2s is equal to n times n plus 1. So your s would be n times n plus 1 over 2. So this is the general form of finding n number of natural n terms of natural numbers okay so now you are familiar with adding the natural numbers now let's take it is the same with any set of arithmetic progressions okay so here we don't know what the first term is they just give you that the uh, sequence is like a a is the first term a plus D is the second term, A plus 2D is the third term and A plus 3D, likewise it goes, okay? So again, let's put, let's find the sum of this. How do you find the sum? You add A and then you add A plus D, then A plus 2D, right? Likewise it goes till the last term which is a plus n minus 1d, right? We know the last term of a, uh, arithmetic progression is a plus n minus 1d. So I take another s. So here it is just the reverse, right? So I will have a plus n minus 1d as my first term. My second term would be a plus n minus 2d, a plus n minus 3d, okay. And it goes like this and the last term would be a, right, plus a. Let's add these as we did previously, okay. I'm just adding these two, so I get 2s is equal to I'm adding the first two terms so that's a plus a plus n minus 1d right so I can write it as 2a plus n minus 1d now I have to add these two the second terms so I just do that here I just put that all together here and finally, let's do, so that is a plus d plus, this term is a plus n minus 2d, right? n minus 2d. This would be my second term. And my third term would be a plus 2d and this. So that is a plus 2d plus a plus n minus 3d right plus and finally here it goes like this and the last term would be 2a plus 
n minus 1 d. Got it? So let's make that in, uh, simpl in a simplified form. Uh, uh, let me write that. So your first term is a 2a plus n minus 1d. And my second term here, I just write that here. This would be a plus d, right? Plus a. Now let me multiply this uh, d, okay, with the this term and this term. So that would be nd minus 2d, right? So this would be like a plus a will be 2a and d plus d minus d. This, that becomes 1d, okay? So it is nd plus minus 1d. I take the d out. So that is n minus 1d, okay? Simplify this. Use algebra and do the second term. You get this answer. So it, it will be repeated like this till the end. Okay. Till the end you get the last term will be again 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay. So now this 2 plus n minus 1d will be repeated n times. Okay. Because... We don't know how many terms are there. So we take it as n terms. So this will be repeated n times. So your 2s will be equal to n times 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay. So your s will be n times 2a plus n minus 1 d divided by 2. Okay. So this is the sum formula for any, any arithmetic progression. Okay. So let me put that as a review now. Whatever we have done so far. So to find the sum of n natural numbers. The general formula is n times n minus 1 over 2. And to find the sum of any arithmetic progression, it may not be the natural numbers, okay? Any arithmetic progression, you have two methods. One is when uh, the first term a common difference d and the number of terms n is given. You use the formula n over 2. Uh, times 2a plus n minus 1d. That's what we arrived at here. Okay. And you have one more formula. When the first term common difference and the last term is given. You can use this formula. That is it is n over 2 times first term plus the last term. I'll show you how you got this. Okay. We stopped here. Right. The same formula I can just change it like this. So my sum of n numbers will be n over 2. This 2a, I write it as a plus a plus n minus, I split and write, okay? n minus 1d. Did you get that? So that would be n over 2. Your a is your first term, right? This is your first term. First term plus from here to here this is your last term. So you can even uh, arrive at this formula. Okay from what we stopped here. So the last term. So this is what I have given. So when, the, when you know the last term you can use that formula. That is n over 2 times first term plus last term. Okay and get the answer. So here I have explained to you how to arrive at the formula to find the sum. And in the coming videos we will be doing few problems on it. Both easy and harder ones. So keep tuned. Bye.